What up, big ol' pupper? What up, Greg? Thank you, Matt. It is from WebAround. They hooked it up. They are a sponsor of mine. What up, Ascending Phoenix? What up, Brian Beardsley? So it's, uh, it's a green screen that attaches to the back of your seat. It's really cool. What up, Douglas? Just uh, hanging out, doing a blitz rotation, answering questions. Evening, you sorry. What up, Nellyel? I have been playing Marvel Strike Force. I am good. I'm good. What up, Empty Kason? Oh, I need to change the chat to be, uh. Well, maybe not. No, never mind. It's, it is showing YouTube chat. Interesting. Alright, I guess it's watching both. Never get to see in these days, but it's a rare good night for me. Hope luck is with you. Uh, yeah, I already got those offers, but... I mean, I was gonna be able to get Pyro. Like, even even if I get all bare minimum, uh, I'll go ham on his blitzes and I'll, I'll get what I need to get, but... Yeah, I bought both offers. I'm gonna make sure I have that Magneto gameplay for you guys, so... By the way, uh, so... This green screen, as I mentioned, is a web around. They are one of the sponsors of the channel, which is awesome. But uh, if it looks a little bit off, it's not the, the green screen's fault. It is the crappy webcam and the mediocre lighting. Um, I ordered uh, a like, photography quality light ring, and I ordered uh, the newest model webcam. They'll be here on Wednesday. So, yeah, I got the web around, and then, uh, we're, we're stepping up our game. We're going professional. After all, I am a professional. Might as well start acting like one, so. I appreciate it. The light ring will make a huge difference, and, uh, and the better webcam. So this one, I think, does, like, 720p in, uh... 720p and 30 FPS or something. The new webcam is gonna do 720p, 60 FPS, or 1080p and 30 FPS. But it's it's a good one. Did you get the new pyro offers? Yes, I did. I will I will open those orbs when, when enough people get here. Can look so awesome. Are either the Pyro or Black Panther offers worth it for a regular player? Uh, tough to say. I'll have to see what the drops are like from the Pyro orbs. Pyro's a decent character for a normal player. He will be really big for the Blaster Challenge, which is, I believe, for the Catalyst. So, I would say yes. If you're gonna put a lot of resources in a Pyro, he'll do a lot for the Blaster Challenge. Um, so yeah, probably. told you that you were a professional they were lying pros don't wear a bacon shirt 
actually, not only am I a pro, but I'm also a trendsetter for the industry. Soon, all the top streamers will be wearing bacon shirts, and you'll know where it started. The game is going too fast releasing new characters, what do you think? So, I know the intended pace that you're supposed to be able to, to ride, and so... How do I put this? Without giving away the exact formula that they're using, the general idea is they want you to more or less be able to stay exactly even with if you wanted to max a character, you should be able to max characters at the rate characters come out, but that would mean that your the rest of your roster would not really make any progress because you'd have to throw gold at other characters to star them up when you got shards from basics and premiums, or you'd have to throw ability mats at someone else when you needed it for a challenge or something. So, you're supposed to... Like, it. it's going at the intended pace, and the fact that you feel like you can't keep up is the business model. They want you to feel like you can't keep up, because when you feel like you can't keep up, then you're like, I, I don't have enough gold, I gotta buy some more, I don't have enough ability materials, I gotta buy some more, I don't have enough gear, I gotta buy some more. That's the game. So... If you're waiting for them to be like, yes, I'm free to play and I can perfectly max out every character, woohoo! That day is never coming. I would cope with that now. That's not how these games work. Got the green screen for the chair. Yes, I did. It's called the Web Around. They're one of our sponsors. In the video description, you can see uh, you get 10% off anything from Web Around using the code Casino. Uh, but so, I did get the green screen and it looks good. I will be getting a new uh, photographer quality light ring and a new webcam. So, it's all going to look super slick. What's the cutoff for Orbisalt? Did you check the number one place you should always check, which is my Discord, because it is already posted there. I will go ahead and post it on YouTube as well, and I'll go ahead and post it on Twitter, and I'll post it on Facebook. And I gotta see who, uh, who won the last one. Um, but yeah, so let me post these. What is this? Some, what did Marvel Strike Force post? Hold on, Marvel Strike Force posted something. They posted. Oh. No? Must have been something else. Alright. Thank you, Manic. Yeah, help me out. Hit that like button. No problem. But yeah, so if you're not already on my Discord, join my Discord, and uh, I always post it there first. A lot of people ask for links of stuff. And I put everything in the, uh, I literally put everything in the Discord, so always check there first, and then if you don't see it there, then, then ask, but I just try to have one, one for everything. Alright, do we know the cutoffs yet? Um, well, here, let me, let me post this, create posts. Nope. Yeah. So now it's on Twitter. Now it's on YouTube. I'll worry about Facebook later. Um, but so let's see how we did on the cutoffs. The cutoffs. All right. Let me see what our predictions were. Oh, wrong server. Here we go. Alright. I can see our predictions. Now I want to see... If we go here, there should be blitz results. This is still shown for Luke Cage. So, I know we can check some of them manually. Do we know the, uh... 
the cutoffs. I slacked super hard on this blitz, don't judge me. Um, so first place was 8.86. So graphics was closest for first place. Um, number 10 was 5.8, just about 5.9. And, oh, but it, we're looking at top 15, not top 10. Uh, which was 5.41. Okay, so empty case one's closest there. That's really low. And then we can see top 100. Top 100 was 3.9, which would make uh, graphics and empty case in the closest for top 100, but it comes down to top 1500. 1491 was two, almost 2.1. That's real close. So we can assume that it was like 2.05, which would make graphics the winner. So many people didn't go ham for Kingpin. What up, Shane? Everyone is saving for the Pyro one? I thought there'd be more of a push for Kingpin too, man. Kingpin's good. I don't see why people didn't go for him. There's plenty of time. But alright, so... Yeah, it could be that cheaters are, are getting removed. I don't know. This is such a ripoff. Alright, so we're gonna open a bunch of pyro orbs. I bought that, that, those offers, because I'm gonna guarantee you guys will get to see some Magneto gameplay on this channel. So, we're gonna open 16 pyro orbs. I'm glad you like the layout, thank you. Alright, show me. A good pyro drop. Alright, we start off with an 8 drop. Okay. What else we got? Another green. But another 8. So if we're going to get green, so I'll take 8. What else we got? A 12. Alright, and we're getting those mutant items. Alright. 145,000 gold. We got a, a legendary drop. I'll get rid of the, the Twitch thing. Hold on. Let me open my orbs, then I'll get rid of it. Um, Alright, what do we got here? Six. Alright, meh. What do we got here? A blue drop. That's a ten. Eh. Another green. That's another six. Eh. What else we got here? Another six. Alright, these are getting pretty, pretty mediocre pretty quick. Another eight. Alright, can we... a purple drop over here, but again, it's gold. Like, I don't mind gold, but I don't want gold. I want pyro. Oh, shit! Wallet Warrior status achieved. Hell yeah. Finally I get lucky with a drop. And that's a good character to get lucky with. Whew. Finally. Feels not Ronin, man. you damn right. Finally we got a good drop. That's what's up. Alright, I don't care what we get from here on out. That was fantastic. Uh, minimum, minimum... Eight. Doesn't matter. That was so good. A, a blue drop. Got a ten. Did you ever get 180 Loki? Yes. Another eight. Alright. Alright. So, uh... We'll have to see all in all how we did. 
I made a good amount of gold from that. That ended up paying like 500,000 gold. Which ain't too shabby. Pyro is at 300 out of 55. That's gotta be... Let's see. This takes him up to 3. Why are you so blue? Uh, this takes him up to 4. Hell yeah. And this takes him up to 5. GG. Mission accomplished. Magneto secured. The deed is done. Hell yeah. That was insane luck. How'd you get 5 star? I bought the two offers and I got a 180 legendary drop. That was fucking fantastic. Alright, let me get rid of this Twitch link. But we have a 5 star pyro. And it... It didn't cost anywhere near as much as I thought. Fox Next, if uh, if you're out there, if you guys want to rig my drops, if my drops look good, more people will buy your offers. Feel free to uh, to rig my drops and give me good luck. I I'm I'm fine with this. Uh, if uh, if this is gonna keep happening, I can work with this. <laughs> nah, they. Not only do they not rig my drops, and I don't think they could even if they wanted to, but um, I have notoriously terrible luck, actually. Um, yeah, they they bent me over a couch for Sabretooth, so I feel like they owed me this, but but I'd rather have my luck hit for, for Pyro, I'm not going to lie. That, that went pretty well. That was awesome. My Pyro's gonna get a little bit stronger too, but he's already geared tier 11, which is great, and um, he's level 65. I could take him up to like level 70 and just make him nuts, but uh, I'm still gonna upgrade his passive too. Man, that's crazy. So now my entire brother team is level 65. The weakest member is Sabretooth, and he's doing all right. I could, I kind of want to just level Sabretooth just to catch him up with all the others. Mystique's 25k, Pyro's 24k, Juggernaut is 23k. Kind of want to just give Sabretooth some levels and try to help him catch up. But how are you liking the Brotherhood so far? Well, you're about to see him in action. What gear and level you think for the event? Your congrats and Blitz predictions is weird. What I do? Let me check it. I might have. Why? How about this? Congrats to for most closely predicting the Kingpin Blitz. There, it's better. What? Uh, you'll be on for tomorrow. I get it. So, uh, I, I'm not going to worry about the Orb Assault. I'm just going to get those out. But Graphics' name will go on it for tomorrow's. You might need another little light. I am. So, Yule, I don't know if you heard. I ordered a, a new webcam. Like, the nicest, newest one. And I ordered uh, a photographer quality ring light. So, we are stepping it up. But you guys are going to get to see some Brotherhood gameplay. So, I'm going to do Blitz here. Um, but, I'm, I'm already good. Let's take a look here. Boom. Like, we're ready. It's We're good. I love that it'll allow me to use Magneto. Like, oh, that's super helpful. Yeah, I can, I can just use my Magneto. Why didn't I think of that? I'll just bring my Magneto in. Um... Where are you filming from? California. The Bay Area. Our air here is, like, toxic right now. Alright. Let's, uh, just do a quick arena match. Swipe this number 11 spot. Some Fury on Fury violence. Then I'm gonna do, like, a raid note or two, and then it's gonna be a blitz rotation. How do you manage to get Pyro to 5 stars? I bought his two offers, and, uh... I got lucky, I got a 180 legendary drop, so I'm fucking good, we're good, 
Let's go ahead and offense down you. I wish Assault hadn't... Uh... Oh, damn. That dropped him to yellow. Please tell me theirs goes first. No, why did mine go first? Ah, uh, none of the luck. Whoa, whoa. None of the luck at all. Oh my God, holy. What in the world? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, you fucks. You have no defense up, right? So we're just gonna fucking kill you. That's, that's what we're gonna do. So we're going to kill you. You're about to get non-lethal in the fucking dome. You ready? Oh my god, Fury was taunting, but it's gone. Alright, you ready? Non-lethal, of course he fucking blocks it. Whatever, eat the assist. Now you guys have no tank. GG. This match is over, you fucks. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god. Oh my god. Get out of here. No medic passive? Again no medic passive? Dude, this is killing me. I'm getting so unlucky. Oh, and I only get the double drop. Dude, I have no luck at all. Give me that shit. Have a slow. Have a stun. Oh my god. At least my tank's still alive. Oh, I didn't want to go for the heal because I wanted to kill Fury. Not like this, come on. Kill the fucking summons. Well, now we have the passive, so now I'll save the heal? Stop, why are you hiding that scar? Okay, see, now we use the heal, no revive. Oh my god, no fucking luck. Nick, can you carry this? What is going on here? Now she hides herself. Whatever, at least we got rid of the summon. Oh, Jesus. Woo. All right, let's go ahead and uh, protect up. We can heal all you have as an operative. We're going to win. It's just fucking tooth and nail. I'm not allowed to complain about my luck today. That's fair. Fuck out of here, get non-lethal. And it comes down to a 3v1, no revive. Everyone gets bonus regen, defense, speed up. Hey, if that's how you want to play it, operative. You fought valiantly. You fought honorably. You died. Will Brotherhood wreck shield? Yes, they will. I know you probably already said it, but where does Pyro rank on the threat meter? He's a pretty high threat. He does a lot of damage. 1 to 10%. How did I still get 1 to 10%? I phoned it in like no other. All right. Anywho. Black Widow in for operative? Yeah, she does all right. I, I've been thinking about a couple alternatives. I, I really want to try Star-Lord on the Fury Shield team and put uh, Star-Lord on the end and then Fury and then Medic. That way, Star-Lord has to give energy to Fury. Can you imagine if you're just constantly using Fury's special? Which you can do, because every time uh, Star-Lord takes a turn, it could happen, and then you can use his special and make it happen. So. All my Brotherhood, but no gold. But yeah, there's the Brotherhood. I will be using them in a bit, um, even though the cost to, to reuse them is going to be crazy. But let's, uh, let's do a fresh Blitz rotation. Let's do it. I actually have to waste a bunch of uh, a bunch of these charges because I'm over the cap, but it is what it is. I guess I could 
I could literally sit on the charges and just have this much going into the Pyro Blitz. Everything I would earn for the next few days would go to waste, but to be able to sit on an amount like this, I think that is what I might do. I th yeah, I think I might sit on them. Like, I'll probably use, like, a few for this rotation right here, but when I say a few, I mean, like, like, under 100. New green screen? Uh, it is called a web around, and yes, uh, web around is a sponsor of the stream, and they hooked it up. See, that's too long. Well, you don't do blitz, never mind. It, that makes sense, I guess. If you don't do blitz, but yeah, that's a lot of wasted charges. Do you still do all the milestones? I imagine you can do all the milestones pretty easily. I think it might be Jessica Jones Blitz after Orb. Yep, that's the one that makes sense to me, but who knows. Excuse me, top 10%? Nice. Yeah, that's... I've been doing that a bit more lately, just going for top 10%. But on, on characters I can afford to do that for, like Kingpin, who I had at 7 star. But, uh, yeah. Another one. So, by the way, just uh, YouTube channel news, I've got a couple videos coming up. Um, the very next video I'm going to be putting out is a viewer-sponsored video. Someone literally made a, a sizable donation and said, can you please make this video? Um, I don't know how many people will find the video helpful, we'll find out. It is going to be a video on how to most efficiently play the game if you only have 30 minutes to one hour per day to play. If you literally have to do everything inside of 30 minutes to an hour. Um, so, that's going to be the topic of the next video. And then the video after that, that sounds awesome. Oh, Alright, if that's uh, if that's something you guys are, are into, that's cool. Um, the video after that is going to be uh, a full sellout mode video, but it's going to be an awesome sellout mode video. So the reason that I try to get sponsors, in addition to getting free stuff for myself, is giving free stuff away to you guys. And so all of my sponsors have either already given some awesome stuff to give away for free, or have said, we want to give some awesome stuff to give away for free. We'll get back to you and let you know what you can give away from us. But so I've got a video coming up that is going to... It's literally going to be more or less 10 minutes of me talking about the various sponsors for the channel. All of whom have like discount codes already for stuff, getting stuff on their sites, but they're all doing giveaways and it's uh, it's a lot of good stuff. So like for example, Blue Stacks is contributing a t-shirt and $50 worth of power cores, which I think I'm going to do as $25 Google Play and $25 iTunes. Um, Cougar Gaming supplied three gaming mice and a gaming keyboard. I already gave away one of the gaming mice, and I think I'm saving one of the two for a prize on my double down wheel, which is something we do over on the other stream. So uh, I believe Cougar Gaming will be giving away a sweet FPS gaming mouse. Um, OPC wants to give away something. Uh, I wouldn't get my hopes up about them giving away one of these sweet, sweet gaming chairs, but, uh, could happen, but we'll see what they, what they want to contribute, and then, um, WebAround, who made the green screen, are either going to provide me with a green screen or something else, but, so, we will, uh, we'll see, but there's gonna be a bunch of awesome giveaways, that's the, that's the important part of the story. And it's just going to be a bunch of stuff you guys can win for free in the comments, so. If you're going to go sellout mode, that sounds like the best way, right? You guys cool with just potentially winning a bunch of free stuff? And I'll probably throw in some, some power core giveaways on my own just to make it a really crazy video.
That was my logic. I was like, everyone likes free stuff. If they're gonna sit through me talking about my sponsors, might as well appropriately uh, compensate them. How best to fight Defender Squad? I'm finding I need to be at least 15k higher to defeat them. Uh, what team are you using? And who are you killing first? I like to get rid of... So, it depends. If they have Punisher on the team, he's a huge damage threat. You have to take him out. Um, but I try to get rid of Iron Fist as soon as possible because he just keeps healing and healing and healing. But also you have to have someone who can dispel the loot cage and the defense up, so... Yeah, that's generally my, my attack pattern as well. But it really depends on who you're using. You can get in, like, certain ability blocks and, you know, blinds at the right time. Like, it really depends on who you're using, how to best uh, take them apart. I always worry about this match. I used to use my lowly Kree team here, but now I'm, I'm using a very, very untrustworthy team. Should I go for the tier four on his ultimate? Probably not. I'll have to look again at what it does. Um, like it's not a bad upgrade, but are you gonna get Magneto this first pass? If not, like Pyro's good, but Pyro isn't just gonna win the game for you without Magneto. He is super good for the blaster challenge. The one the one thing you will for sure see a giant improvement on if you power up your pyro is your, your blaster challenge will be awesome. And then when Pyro's character event campaign comes out in January or February, uh, last we saw that will require blasters and supports. And so your pyro is a blaster and therefore uh, you'll have an easy time with his campaign. Two turn disrupt, I think I can get Magneto. If you're gonna be able to get Magneto, then uh, I'm gonna put out a video talking about which orange ability mats you wanna get for the uh, Brotherhood. But uh, yeah, I think the Magneto passive is like the most important one, if I remember correctly. I already looked at them, so I would just need to refresh my memory basically. So the other thing is, once I get caught up, I've got a few more roster reviews to do, um, and then I've got, you know, the, the viewer-sponsored video, and then the sponsored-sponsored video. Once I do those two things, then I'm gonna do, like, one-month YouTube blitz, or, or two weeks YouTube blitz, where I'm gonna be either putting out a video every day, or every other day, or something. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna really go ham on YouTube, um, for... For a little while and see see how that goes. The the one week of YouTube was really successful, so I think we'll do it again. No. No. Guess we'll try these guys. Another one. Another resisted bleed. And he gets a heal. Come on. Come on. Hey, the slow gave us just enough time to get that extra auto in. Not that he was a turn 2 detonate. He was a turn 3 detonate anyway, but at least now he's just gone. Oh shit, what have we here? So, uh... Thank you very much for that. I actually have some uh, some comments on that.
great content. Thank you very much. So, I very much appreciate Super Chats, and I don't ever want to make anyone feel bad for doing a Super Chat. However, YouTube takes, I believe it's 30%, but it's something outrageous uh, from the Super Chat revenue, and I don't get Super Chat revenue until, uh, until I actually get paid from YouTube, so it'll be like a month and 20 days. So I appreciate Super Chats, and I get most of it, and uh, so thank you very much for doing that. However, if you want to donate A, so that I get it directly, and B, so that I get 100% of it, there's a Streamlabs link in the video description, and if you donate via Streamlabs, then I get it immediately and I get all of it. They don't even take a processing fee. If they do, it's like 0.1% or something. So Streamlabs is much preferred. But um, Super Chats still still look good for my YouTube stats and stuff, and I, I feel bad being on YouTube's platform while telling people to actively avoid using YouTube. But uh, yeah, at the end of the day, Streamlabs is just better. And YouTube, if you guys would stop being greedy and take just 1%, I think people would encourage more Super Chats, maybe? Well, I would, but I guess most people don't even know there are other places you can stream and just only stream here anyway. I don't know. See Ronin, fight Ronin. Tier list video on YouTube soon. So, here's the only thing. Uh, I have the tier list video done. It's... It needs, like, I have it done as a video file. I need to export it to actually make it, like, a video you can watch. Um, the problem is, it because of how long it is, it takes, like, 40-something, or, I'm sorry, like, four hours. I can't do it. It takes, like, four hours to export. Uh, so I have to do it overnight, and I've tried twice, and both times I woke up in the morning and there was an error during the export process. So, I just kind of got to the point where I was like, fuck it. Um, so, I, I, it wouldn't take me very long. Like, once it's saved as a video, uploading it to YouTube is a piece of cake. My internet's pretty good. But the actual exporting of it is proving to be quite the pain. So, it is still viewable on Twitch as a Twitch VOD, and I'm, I'm working on getting it over here. But... What a Lex Calebra. I hope I said that right. What's your thoughts on Shield Trooper? I love him due to his assists. Uh, I like him. He's most of the damage on the Fury Shield team. So he's cool with me. Dodge this. Another one. Also, if you haven't liked this video, I've yet to see a difference, but people tell me that the more people that like this stream, the more viewers it shows it to. So go ahead and hit the like button, I guess, and let's see if uh, if that makes any kind of a difference. Any idea how long the Magneto event lasts? Uh, probably a week. It's usually a week for legendaries for first, first pass, so I'd be surprised if it's not a week. All right, we used that team. Let's use the Hulk. Let's go Miss Marvel. Cable Wolverine Storm team. Let's do this team. Um, if you're wondering why I'm not using Deadpool on it, it is because my Deadpool is too strong. Oh, two defenders teams, and then this one looks like it'll be quite a pain. Oh well, let's try it. Magneto's passive worth fully upgrading? I think so. I think Orange Mats and the Magneto's passive, if you're going to get him, is just... I don't see how you can go wrong with that. So, I, I did a breakdown of it on stream. I just don't remember what I said. and uh, But, like, I remember what I... Like, if I just looked at the abilities again, I would I would know. Any tips on how to get Star-Lord faster than just five rocket shards once in a while? Uh, buy raid orbs. You will actually get rocket shards faster by buying raid orbs. And it's a better value, and you'll get more other shards. Why spend 1400 for 5 shards when you can spend uh, 900 for 9 shards? It's clearly a better deal. Yeah. 
And then, uh... Okay. And then, uh, you can get nine rocket shards from a single orb. You're not statistically likely to do so, but... With a tier 7, the hero synergy is just insane. Wolverine, I wish I can throw this 4 star tier 7 Loki away. What? What? Loki's a ma- What? How dare you? Did you really just say you wish you could throw your 4 star Loki away? What game are you playing? Loki is fantastic. $50 once again on Pyro Orbs, time to test my luck. I hope you have the same luck I did, because I had fantastic luck. Hello there! Boom! It's a, it's a four star Loki, not a seven star, but. I, brother, if I can trade him for even a Deadpool, I'll be good. He literally does nothing for the teams I make. What, what are you even doing? I don't, do, what are his abilities? Like, I don't, Loki is incredible. I just ate the best pizza ever. No comment. Daredevil, Kree, Nobu, Hand Sentry, Korath, Rifle Trooper, and I'll refresh one random villain around this level for this. Let's go Electra. Yeah, she's Hand. She'll give uh, Nobu or Sentry evade. Yeah, I like this. Uh, I see a Defender. These are a little bit interesting matchups. We should be able to win any of these no matter what. But, mm, if we can take Punisher out, then, then Crossbones. I just want to punish Luke Cage, basically, so let's see how this goes. I did open my orbs. Nice, Logan. So let's see if we can just take this guy out. Mm. Mm. I really want to hit him because of the defender bonus, but we have to drop this guy, and I knew that neither of these characters were going to do any damage. That blew the evades, but this should take him out. Oh no, mistakes were made. This is not good. He should have been dead. And I didn't get an archer, so no one has the AoE for him either. Are you kidding me? You didn't remove either buff. You fail. What is this luck? Oh my god. Everything is going maximum terrible. No slow on the basic? Come on, you guys are killing me. This is so unfair. We're gonna get crossbones detonated. Oh my god. Not like this. Jeez. Oh my god. What was this BS, dude? That's it, my luck is gone. I got lucky with Pyro and then I lose in tier two. I knew that was the riskiest matchup and I figured we'd be fine anyway. God damn it. Ugh. So unlucky, are you kidding me? Man. No Archer summons. No Korath slow. Nothing. That's a 90%. Ugh. All right, whatever. Misfit teams assemble. 
That's alright, I'm actually gonna take it easy on this Blitz anyway, so that, that kinda confirms it for me. That I'm gonna... Oh, thank you very much, Chaos Storm. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it super easy on this uh, Blitz rotation then. Save those charges for Pyro. I hope uh, tomorrow's Blitz is Jessica. Even though I I have the shards to get Jessica to 6 star, I would like to get Jessica to 7 star, but... Well, you know what? Pyro is less important. Now that I have him at 5 star, I think I still want to see what I can do for the Pyro Blitz, though. Everyone else is going to be going hard for it. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I would get, uh... Yeah, I'd get him to 6 star. You know what? If I got two top 1500 finishes, forgetting the fact that we can get his Orb Frags, I would get him to 6 star. Which means I'm gonna actually power farm Mystique and get a 6 star Magneto. Because Mystique is the only Brotherhood member that I won't have at 6 star. Because Juggernaut is gonna make it to 6 star. So, yeah, I'm just gonna power farm Mystique and get 6 star Magneto and I'll go ham for Pyro. How much would a team of Thanos, Strange Mortal, Scarlet Witch, Yondu, Vision be? Oh, how would they be? Um, what up, Bex Boy? Bex Boy, I finally had some luck, man. I bought the, the Pyro Orb deals. I got a legendary drop. My Pyro's 5 star already. I got the 180 drop. Feels good, man. Oh, let's run the Kree squad with Ultimus, actually. Where's Reaper? Oh, Reaper's already in there, so we're looking for Oracle. No, what are these teams? Dude, all these teams are so meta. Like, they should be easy wins. We're just gonna overpower them and trash them, but... You just got your Pyro to 6 star? Wait, 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 wait. How did you get him to 6 star? How many... What was he at from the Uncannies? Dude. Ultimus is gonna get reworked. Likely before the rest of the brother or, uh, sorry, likely before the rest of the Kree do, but soon is a bit of an exaggeration. He's he's gonna get a rework, but I don't know how soon I would say soon is. Can we get that ability block? No? It was worth a shot. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, that's bad luck. Oh, so much bad luck. Uh, we need to kill Yanu, but I don't want Gamora to clean up. Yeah, the game gave me a great drop and then has just been screwing with me ever since, basically. I wonder if he can kill her. That would be a yes. Bye. Did you see the new League Champ teaser? Nope. What you get on that Pyro Orb back? I got... I bought all Pyro shards and the drops were awesome. Oh, so you had 3 star from Uncanny. I was only at 2 star. You think Captain Marvel will be a protector or blaster? No idea. Um, alright, so then we'll use the Ragtag Cleanup Crew. Ragtag Cleanup Crew is... So Venom is now on my Brotherhood team, so I actually need... Who is uh, not on a team? Alright, so we need a, a fifth. I just need to refresh a fifth, because I don't want to use Cree Royal Guard. Mm, who gets one free refresh? Mm, who would round out this team? I'm just gonna go with Merc Lieutenant just to make this go faster. And Merc Lieutenant's got low power and high effectiveness, so. 
a lot of healers and supports, but this is basically just setting Black Panther up to succeed. Sure. How big of a Marvel fan are you apart from this game? So, I... How do I put this? I watch a lot of movies. I'm a movie fan, and I quite like the Marvel movies. So if you ask me questions about the Marvel Cinematic Universe specifically, I'm I'm pretty pretty well kept up with it. But if you ask me about anything Marvel related that wasn't in a movie, there's a good chance I don't know what you're talking about. Now, the other thing is I tend to get pretty obsessed with games that I play, and I played Marvel Contest of Champions quite a bit. So I know a good amount of Marvel characters that otherwise only comic book aficionados would know because I played Marvel Contest of Champions and they were in that game. Oh shit, I would've killed him. Fucking shit, I was trying to set him up for BP. Whoops. So, I don't know if that if that answers your question. I know the Marvel Cinematic Universe well, and I like it. I know Marvel Contest Champions well, and I like it. And I know Marvel Strike Force well, and I like it. Beyond that, I might as well be, like, your mother in terms of my Marvel knowledge. Unless your mother's really knowledgeable on Marvel. You get what I'm saying. Any guesses to the next Blitz tune? I mean, the it's purely a guess. It's not based on any information I've received whatsoever. But, the last three Mondays were Daredevil... Iron Fist, Luke Cage. So, I think we have to assume it's Jessica. But, I don't know. My favorite color is turquoise. Because I could never decide whether I like blue or green better as a kid. And then I dated a girl who was like, this is my favorite color. I was like, that's not a real color. And she's like, yeah, it is. And it's blue and green put together. And I was like, what? Your favorite game ever? Star Wars Galaxies. Hands down, not even a close second. Star Wars Galaxies was an MMORPG. Best video game I've ever played in my goddamn life. I was hoping Mystic, because I need her. Leisure Suit Larry. All right, let's bring out the uh, the Brotherhood, or well, not the Brotherhood, sorry, the Defenders. Blah, blah, blah. My Defender squad is so weak. Uh, good enough for me. Well, I really hate dealing with a Drax, but that one has no villains, and that one has no villains. Fuck it. Oh, did you say? I, I, did you mean I was hoping for Mystique? I don't think we're getting a Mystique Blitz. I think you have to hard farm Mystique. So I will get six star Magneto if I get Mystique to six star. Do you like Zelda or should I report this channel? So I never owned a Nintendo. So I respect Zelda because everyone seems to like Zelda. I've literally never played a Zelda game in my life. Um, I, I owned a Sega. Genesis as like my first console prior to that I played like computer games and then uh, From Sega Genesis then I owned a like PlayStation PlayStation 2 and then I got into PC gaming so I had a like I had friends that had uh, Dreamcast and then I had a friend that had GameCube I had a friend that had Super Nintendo I had a friend that owned an N64 so we played like more multiplayer stuff and Zelda wasn't really very multiplayer. But so like I played a ton of Super Smash on 64 and then we played a ton of Super Smash on the GameCube um, Melee specifically. Um, played uh, a bunch of stuff on the Super Nintendo like Golden Gun and stuff like that. Um, Mario Kart. It, that was on N64 those two. At least you did play as Link in Super Smash. What all about that Samus? Are you kidding me? Samus. Like Mega Man, but better. Do you think they'll make more levels for the hero and villain campaigns? 
prob- I mean, maybe eventually, but the thing is, Hero and Villain are so far behind right now that if they don't make more- like, they'd have to make a lot more. It's not like Nexus or Cosmic or Mystic where the most recent stuff is tough. Uh, thank you. So this, uh, a few notes on this green screen. So this is from Web Around. They're a sponsor of the channel. They hooked it up. Isn't it Samus? Uh, I hear Samus and Samus. The announcer says, Samus! So I just go off that. Um, but so, uh, anyway, this is called a Web Around, and, uh, you guys get 10% off any of their stuff, and it's very reasonably priced. Um, but so, since I got this green screen, I realized my lighting is a little bit off, so I ordered, like, a photographer-quality ring light, and I got a, uh, like, the newest webcam. So, on Wednesday, it should get here, so on Thursday, the stream should look super sexy. Alright, I think it is time for the Brotherhood, and I think I made them a team. Um, yeah. So now you can see 5, 5, 6, 2... Five. Um, Juggernaut will get to six. Pyro will get to six from the Blitzes, and then it's just Mystique I would need. Um, now I don't know if I have time to uh, to hard farm Mystique, but I'm gonna try. Uh, we'd beat them. I'm fighting these guys just because they have the Spider-Man. I know the other one did too, but. What do you think about the 23,000 wins in Assault of the rank 1 of the last blitz? You're asking me what I think about a guy that's banned. I think he should have been banned. Which is one of the reasons why he got banned. Where Wolverine? Uh, I don't run Wolverine or... So my Wolverine is 7 star and my... Uh, my... Uh, uh, Storm is 6 star, so that's why I'm, I'm good with those. Hmm. Hmm. He's slower than Venom. I'm gonna do this just so we can spread all of this. Oh no! I'm stupid! I removed the taunt! Venom can't spread anything! Why am I dumb? Oh. Don't be like Casino, kids. Fuck, that was so stupid. Holy shit. I could have just used the basic and sp Flip. I just want to enjoy this. What? Juggernaut! How dare you. Oh, I've made some really boneheaded moves, but that, that one's up there, man. It, it's way worse when you make a really stupid move and it costs you the match, so like, fortunately I didn't throw the fight, but... I'm literally like, this is gonna be an ingenious plan. We'll overload him on debuffs and then have to attack someone else. No plan. Just, just dumb. That power ultimate reminds me of Wizard 101. I don't know what that is, but alright. Isn't that like a Disney Channel show or something? The pyro making a lion thing seems a little bit weird to me, but so I live with girls and so there's an above average amount of astrology talk in this household and they like to say things like oh you're a leo that means you're a fire sign and even though uh that means fuck all to me uh now when i see pyro summon a goddamn lion i'm thinking god damn it leo fire sign so yeah
So, we used to have a viewer, when I did the League of Legends stream, there was a, a... I know one of my viewers used to play the crap out of Wizard 101. Wasn't it a game or something? Now that I think about it. Yeah, well, I, I, it, it wasn't even one of my viewers. It was like him and a bunch of his friends. There was like a, a core group of like six of them and they all just played Wizard 101 every day. Hi from Brazil, what's going on? I really like that this, uh, this, will there be a note or event for Pyro? Yes, uh, I forget if it's in January or February, but in either January or February, both Sabretooth and Pyro will have event campaigns. Yep, he has blitzes coming up, but so his blitzes are going to be unique. His blitzes... Oh, I should have just unibeamed him. His blitzes are going to have a chance to drop um, pyro orb fragments with every single blitz win. In addition to the normal rewards, every blitz win will have a chance to drop pyro orb frags. Now, we don't know what the drop rate will be, and we don't know what the amount of frags will be so if it's like 15 orb frags every 10th win who gives a shit but assuming that it's a, a semi reasonable amount um then it'll be really awesome so it's worth up thanos mordo loki yanu and doctor strange for cosmic and mystic campaign and magneto event will be like nick furry every two months some like that Uh, I know you shouldn't make fun of people when English is not their first language, so I apologize, but let me try and... I, I think what you're asking is, is it worth it to power up Thanos, Mordo, Loki, Yondu, and Doctor Strange for Cosmic and Mystic? Yes. I'll answer that for you. Yes. And then Magneto's event will be like Nick Fury's every couple months. Yes. Yes, it will be a cycling uh, two-month legendary, presumably. Like, there's no way to know for sure, but... There's no reason to assume they would break cycle. Does that make sense? It'll probably be a garbage amount. I think it'll be... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I think it will be... Like, I'm just purely pulling these numbers out of my ass here, but I want to say it'll be like every other win will give you like 75 orb frags, something like that, which uh, would feel like you're getting rewarded each time. Maybe, maybe 100, something like that. Are you making fun of my sneeze? Who does that? Just opened 16 orbs, got to 4 star pyro, nice. I saw your bacon shirt on Facebook, is it wrong? It kind of made me hungry. Uh, nope. I'd say that that's a, a reasonable reaction. I'm an Aries, which means I don't believe in astrology. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. I, I could, uh, I could go on a good rant about the silliness, but I'll, I'll just, I'll just leave it. I would say they increase the fragment amount through the tier levels reached and cap at the 14 tier. Those are milestones and you don't want to do that. You want to do it based on blitz tier because a lot of people play a lot more blitz than just hitting the milestones. On a, like you'll see, well, I probably won't specifically tomorrow, but you'll see on the pyro blitz, I'll hit all 14 milestones in one run. Like literally my opening rotation. So, you know. 
You don't want to do it by milestone. You want to do it by tier. Oh, you were able to pull your girlfriend away from that craziness? Congrats on that. That's quite the accomplishment. I I tend to not be that successful. When, when you confront people with too much logic that they don't want to hear, they tend to get really upset. Um, because that's, you know, that's... When, when you start to realize that what you're saying is silly, instead of going, oh, you're right, you know what? Now that you mention it, everything I have been saying is complete hogwash. Uh, you know, no one wants to be that person. So, I don't mind being that person. If I was saying a bunch of silliness, uh, please let me know so I can stop saying silliness. But, uh, yeah. Usually, usually the response is just anger. Anger and frustration. Should I use cores for Mystique Farming or the Juggernaut campaign? Uh, Juggernaut's the better character of the two because he can be used in Raid and Dark Dimension a bit more. You can't fight against absurd thoughts? Oh, I mean, you can. Only so effectively, but it's not its not that you can't fight against absurd thoughts, right? Because absurd thoughts are, by design, like, there to be fought against. It's absurd thinkers. You can't reason with someone who isn't reasonable. Like, there's a, a presupposition if you're going to try to reason with someone that they, they understand what being reasonable is. So... That's that's more the issue. I can fight anything. Poke. Tony Bing said they should hold off blitz payments for a day so they can go through and ban any cheaters and process blitz rewards. So that is a decent suggestion. But it's so much extra work for them, I would guess. Like, I, I have a very, very vague understanding of how it all works, but I, I think that's just, like, a, an, a, a ton of work for them. And it really only affects a small handful of people that, that were one or two or three or five ranks away. Um, and so for that really small amount of people that it directly impacts... Because, uh, like, if you were top... 10% like it's really hard to see exactly where the line was drawn like people figure it out, but even then um, They most people don't even follow up and try to get the compensation. Oh Are you getting new internet? Oh hell yeah um, But so they just tell people like write into support if you write into support and say like hey the guy above me got banned And I should have been in that spot then I believe they compensate you I'm missing both Pyro and Sabertooth. You don't need Sabertooth. You don't need Sabertooth for anything. Sabertooth will have an event campaign early next year. But yeah, you don't need him for anything. Right. Yeah. There's four Brotherhood members and Storm and Wolverine. So you have six characters to choose from. I will not be trying to get my Sabertooth a five star. I I don't think there's a single player in the game right now with a five star Sabertooth. I spent almost a thousand dollars and got 45 shards. I guess with the uncanny orbs, if I wanted to spend another thousand on uncanny orbs, I probably could have gotten them like three, maybe four. It would have been possible to get five, but highly unlikely, but I just don't, especially when he's not necessary. There are going to be any more characters released this year after Magneto? Yes. Would cost 10,000. On average, Sabretooth should have cost me 400, and we spent, what, 850? So, you know, should cost 10k, might cost 20k. One great, I know 1G on those orbs would have been a better deal, but... Alright, so uh, we're gonna stop here. I could literally pay for three refreshes and uh, and hit all the milestones right here, but I, I want to save these charges with uh, Pyro Blitz coming up on the 23rd, and we don't know who Mondays is, so 
I'll just do an extra short little rotation later and I will uh, I will get what I'm after. What's going on here? Oh yeah. Okay, those are good for Ultimus Orbs. And then 26, so five basics, yeah. How do you have 900 Blitz Energy? They sell a, so they sell a, something called a snack pack. And if you buy the snack pack, those go over the cap. So you can't collect over the cap, but if you buy the offer, they, they go beyond the cap. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, open these. Okay, more gold, more Ultimus, more gold, more Ultimus, more gold, more Ultimus. It's all more gold and more Ultimus. How much were those orange ability mats? Five for 500 power cores. Not a good deal. You will never be five short ever. And 500 power cores is the equivalent of rank one in arena. So, not recommended. Yeah, no, it's it's a terrible deal. Alright, gonna do a raid node. Gonna show you guys how I charge up Storm. So this is how you, uh, you charge up Storm. Quick and easy. Bought gold deal, hit two, one mil drops. Which gold deal? Tell me you don't mean the one for power cores. Is there any good deal on MSF? I would wait, so I've been saying this and I will say this again. There's two really, really good deals uh, I would I would prepare for for Marvel Strike Force. The first is you can donate to your favorite content creator. There's a really good uh, content creator called Casino. Uh, you can definitely donate to fund that content. Highly recommended, excellent value for sure. The next thing that you want to watch out for is Black Friday is on the 23rd and Cyber Monday is on the 26th. And while I have no proof that this game is going to have crazy deals on those dates, every mobile game I've ever played has had crazy deals for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And uh, so if this game is anything like all the others, then save no matter how good a deal now now it's a little bit uh, a little bit um, of a separate issue if, if pyro is the difference between magneto or no magneto for you then uh, you know maybe consider getting these pyro offers better safe than sorry but uh, you know I don't know what your budget is like got a three-star pyro from offer uncanny orbs coming back I don't know, but so Pyro has blitzes coming up, and he will have orbs during that blitz um, that you'll be able to win. Why are my alerts not going off? That's the second super chat, and they're not setting off the alerts. Oh, there it is. There we go. Yep, so people say if you hit the like button, it, it I, I'm not really sure what it does, but it doesn't hurt. So, yeah, if you, if you haven't already, if you're enjoying the, the show, go ahead, hit the like button. I feel weird being the guy, like, go ahead and smash that like button. I don't want to be that guy, but uh, apparently it helps or something. One, one like equals one treat for Abby. Which is my dog, if you didn't know. Storm is up to nine charges, and uh, we're still going. Oh, come on, what is this? That's 
him. Like for the doggo, good. That's what, 10? 11, she's already at 11. Let's get everyone topped off. Oh no, no, he's gonna do the thing. Crap, uh, yeah, crap. No, no. Aw, oh, you son of a. Hey, but we healed up the one that mattered. There you go. And she is at 12. Oh, can you dodge me one more time? No. Uh, if you're paranoid about Pyro, he has two blitzes coming up. Green screen looks good. Thank you, PC Smitty. Sometimes you have to ask and just get the right person. Yeah, I would ask a few times. And one thing you can always do is make a Reddit post if all else fails. What's max charges? For what? Blitz? 500? Hey, rocket. Double shield trooper, and... Wow, all Merc soldier, that's funny. I have so many characters waiting for a rank up. Can you help me later? I wanna know exactly what to buy for a nice PC. I have built both of the PCs sitting next to me. Although graphics hooked me up with a new motherboard and hard drive, so I didn't pick those out. Um, but those were replaced in the streaming PC I picked out was originally in there. Storm charges? 15 at rank 6, 20 at rank 7. So characters waiting for rank up. I got Sniper, Researcher, and Infector, and Grenadier, and Ronin and Winter Soldier, and Merc Soldier. Stitcher, Nebula, Ant-Man, Scientist Supreme, Thor, Hulk, Nobu, Korath, Kree Noble, JJ, Saber, that's an ability, that one's not, yeah, those are all, so now we're into abilities. Rocket is waiting for seven star though. Iron Man's waiting for seven star. I'm just trying to make sure I have enough gold saved for Magneto. And then if I can get the, the Brotherhood all the way up to 70, I probably will. But that's that's a lot of gold to take them all. They're all at 65 right now. But taking them all from 65 to 70 is, is quite the tall order. But they're, uh, they're doing all right. Hanging in there. It's a relief already having Pyro at 5 star. And he's absolutely going to get to 6 star. Juggernaut, I might need to refresh more. Um... I haven't been really refreshing Juggernaut a lot, and my drops have been very, uh, very meh. How much longer is this going on for? Uh, another eight days. And then we're getting from raids as well. Uh, yeah. So yeah, he should, with another eight days, he should, should be good. Show us your defenders lineup play. My defenders suck. I haven't needed defenders because I use Fury and Shield. So these are my piddly defenders, but they're they're a sad, sad bunch. Um Okay, Luke, I'll give you this item if it doesn't require any Oh no, hell no, you're not getting advanced basic catalyst. Get out of here. Show us your... Yeah. Did you get Pyro 5 Star from your pulls to try for Sabretooth? No, he wasn't available there. So I got Sabretooth from premiums before the uncanny orbs were even out, so there was no Pyro. Pyro, I unlocked at 2 Star. Uh, literally, he was he was 4 shards into 2 Star. Uh, I spent over $100 on the uncanny orbs to unlock Pyro so people could check him out, and then um, I just bought his 2 offers. 
how you get pyro so high stars i got a legendary drop i got 180 shard drop from the uncanny orbs so i got crazy lucky and i was a bit of a whale is it worth spending gold to get the advanced basic catalyst maybe so i think gold has better priorities compared to how few abcs it gets you but if your number one goal is to hard farm abcs then it's worth the gold but I feel like there's no way you don't have better uses for the gold. But when I'm like, all right, I need to come up with a bunch of ABCs, I'll buy them for the gold, but I just, I usually have other things I need to spend my gold on. So, so yeah. Uh, oh, right, beta raid. Let's do a node in beta. For those of you that don't know, by the way, I stream Marvel Strike Force every single day on Twitch. I only stream on YouTube sometimes, but I stream every single day on Twitch. So, uh, that is 1 p.m. Pacific time. Non lethal. Free to play player don't get any other source of ABCs. Uh, that's not true at all. There's challenges. Overall, not enough. There's no such thing as enough. You're not supposed to be able to take everyone to max gear. You'll never feel like you have enough, but the challenges. So, if you go really hard for the blaster challenge, you'll get more. And then, if you really worry about catalysts, then hard farm your hand characters. If you hard farm your hand characters, then when the hand catalyst event comes around, you'll get a lot of them. But, you're not... Like, I've been saying this for a while. People say... Oh, there's a gold bottleneck. We're too tight on gold. We don't get enough gold. Gold, gold, gold. My shield team is only 150k. Yes, I, I can take rank 1 with them. I don't need to make them any stronger. Um, I can get rank 1 in arena. I 100% in dark dimension. Why why go higher? I'm working on my brotherhood and some other stuff instead. Um, but anyway, the... Uh, the ABCs are the real bottleneck. We could use more ABCs. I, I agree. I want everything? Yeah, I mean, I want everything too, but good luck. Foxnet should give us everything for free. We should get every new character right away. We should be able to max them in four days. Uh, and by four days, I mean four minutes. We, we want everything. We want it now. Uh, nope. Further to go to catch up to you. Mine's 140k. So, I mean, once you get towards the top, you, the increments to upgrade start getting real slow, but, like, mine aren't even max level. Today was my official 11 months. I am officially been playing 11 months. Four-star hand event this time. Give me enough ABCs to equip three ABC items on a guy going from T8 to T9. Nice. I did the Tier 5 for the first time. That was nice. That Relic Hunt. And I'm so glad that this is coming. Um... Oh, all right, so hold on. One, two, three. Punisher, Night Nurse, Iron Fist, or Miss Marvel? Because JJ can go up. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Is anyone close by chance? JJ is there. Punisher, no. Iron Fist, no. Miss Marvel, no. It's gotta be City Heroes. Night Nurse, no. Dang, not this time. I could, like, if I wanted to drop everything and farm Iron Fist. Uh, no, even then, no. Wouldn't really. How far away is this? I know there's a double drop going on right now. 
Uh, I'd have five days. Yeah, maybe if I super hard farmed, but it's not that big a deal. I will, though, just for shits. Let's see how my, my Iron Fist luck is. Just cause. So anyway, like I was saying, next time I'm going to be able to do the the six star version, but not this time. More campaign energy in nine minutes though. Hard farm isn't just farming the nodes they're on, it's, it's using any extra arena cores to refresh the node. Isn't there a fist offer? Is there a fist offer? Yeesh. Uh, oh, there is. Yeah, that would put him at 90. Oh, shit. So for 20 bucks, I could. Yeah. But I'm only trying to whale so much. I don't just want to buy my way through everything. I enjoy the challenge of the game. I'm in no rush. I'll buy new characters. Is your Pyro 5 star? Yes. I got really lucky. I got a legendary drop. Only got 140 shards from 16 orbs, what a waste. That's still a lot, man. Trying to farm Ravager Bruiser. Seems like I never get drops. All right, so I think uh, we're pretty much done. So this is just a short bonus stream. I think I've done everything that there is to do. So what do you think about a Dark Dimension, oh, Daredevil, Iron Fist, Miss Marvel, and Spidey Brawler team with Luke Cage. Uh, I will tell you exactly what I think about that. I just put out a new graphic called the Top 5 Teams Tier List. This game reminds me of Marvel Avengers from Facebook. So I want to show you guys the, uh, the uh, let's find it here. Go to my server. Someone added me. What now? Where's... Where's the person that added me? Here. Uh, high quality drops got green. Every drop with the pyro offer still unlocked him. Nice. All right, so infographics, boom. And then if you go here, top five teams tier list. If you're not already on my Discord, anyone can join. Uh, I might try to push for six star Magneto. I, I would have to do really well with Mystique, but so this is the top five teams tier list graphic. Uh, all my infographics that I make are on my Discord server. So join my Discord server and check them out. That graphic is really helpful. Yes. But so this tells you exactly what I think about a Miss Marvel Brawler team, uh, a Miss Marvel Brawler Arena defense team, and a Defender Raid team. Such a well put together tier list. Well done. Oh, thank you very much. But so I make lots of graphics and stuff. Um, and this is, uh, this is my living. So as you can see, the donation bar is a little sad today, but, uh, I do this every single day and this is all my income. So if you like what I do, uh, there's a few ways to support. You can of course donate, which helps tremendously, but I understand not everyone can. So, uh, you can also just help out by telling your friends, sharing my stuff and, uh, getting the word out there, I'm trying to take over the world. It's a, it's a slow process, but we're working on it. But uh, so yeah, I make lots of infographics. You can get at them completely for free. Uh, yeah, please feed my, my wallet warrior whale expense habit. I have a bad habit of buying new characters and testing them out for everybody. Even when I know they're terrible. Spending $850 on Sabretooth when I know that he's not even worth $80. We're gonna find the link for the list. Join my Discord. My Discord has every graphic I make and then some. If I succeed becoming a doctor and you still stream by then, that bar will be filled every day. Oh, thank you so much. Um, good luck in your quest to become a doctor. That is, uh, that is no easy feat. But I have a few friends that are doctors. And uh, I didn't think, no offense to them, I didn't think, I didn't, they didn't strike me as future doctors. But yeah, anyone, anyone can join my Discord. I put lots of infographics. We got the tier list. You know, how much gold you need, how many ability materials you need. There's speed charts, blitz tier difficulty how to tell where characters are positioned in Arena and Blitz, how to build a sure to win Blitz team, what the most unique combinations of sure to win Blitz teams are right now, but you can actually add Brotherhood plus Venom and and get one more. 
Um, but yeah, we got lots of good stuff on here. And then we do blitz predictions. If you guys didn't know, just put up the newest blitz predictions, telling you what to aim for for Orb Assault. Prior to that, we had predictions for Kingpin, and we do all the blitzes. So all that's available completely freely. Just join my Discord. And then you'll also always know when I go live, because I send out a blast on the server telling everyone when I'm going to go live on stream. But uh, that said, don't don't uh, let me guilt anyone. Uh, this community has been insanely supportive. It has been my dream to be a content creator, and I wake up every day absolutely uh, honored to be able to do this. So thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your days to check it out. And uh, here from Casino's live stream, kick me? What? What? Don't say kick me. My mods are trolls. They actually will. Make sure you say JK. They really will. Um... Oh, well, be careful saying kick me, but all right, so I'm going to wrap up, but yeah, thank you guys for coming out, and uh, I stream every day on Twitch as well, so twitch.tv slash casino, 1pm Pacific time, see you guys tomorrow, peace!